Hi there everyone, um, if you are working with Elementor and WordPress and you're wondering how to change the size or the color of just one word in a heading or in a body of text, then we're going to deal with that in this video. So this video is a response to a comment on a video which was a response to a comment on another video that I made um, and uh, <laughs> which was simply how to change uh, text colors. And then somebody asked, how do you change just the color of one word in Elementor? And so I answered that. And then somebody else went and asked, how do you change the size of just one word in Elementor? So um, I don't know how to say your very cool name there. Da, da formula, the formula, that's clever. Well done. Um, what if you want to change the size of one word in a text? And um, OK, so we're going to have a look at that. Uh, right, so let's go to my Elementor playground, and <coughs> this is one of my favorite images that I think I got off Pixabay. Um, and we're going to use this as a background while we chuck some uh, text over the top. Okay, so um, the solution in my last video, which was how to change just one, uh, the, the color of just one word in something like a heading, was to not actually use the heading or a heading um, element, but it was actually to use the text editor because that gives us more options and so let's have a look at that um, I will just type in a heading what would we have um, become the piece you want to project or something like that um, yeah cool so you see there we've got the uh, the paragraph there, but this is the, the text editor element and we have a paragraph. Uh, nevertheless, we can turn this into a heading by changing the styles. So if this is a bit confusing, check out other videos on just using the basic elements. Uh, but let's go to the style tab and typography. Um, we can we can change um, everything. So let's let's make this nice and big. Um, let's go really big. Yeah, let's do 140. 140. Um, let's change the weight. That's quite weighty, but that's fine. Um, transform, we'll make it all uppercase. Oh, so bring the weight down a bit. Um, the size. Um, and we don't need an overline, although that would actually look quite nice, but we want to keep it simple. And then line height. Let's bring it all together a bit. Um, Okay, so that's looking quite nice. I do actually want to bring that size up a little bit more. I've got 140 in my head and then uh, line height. We've reached a limit there with 100 pixels, but if we do EM, we can put it how we like it. I like that. Okay, so we've got a funky looking heading, even though we are using a text editor. Um, and if we look in the content, we're actually using paragraph, but you know, it, it doesn't actually matter. So. I don't want to make this video too long. Let's let's get moving. So I'm going to give that make that white, and then a great a lovely thing to do is just bring that opacity down a little bit. Um, I think that's really quite nice. Uh, become the piece you want to project. So just to sum up the other video, what we then did is went to uh, content and we actually changed the color here um, using the text editor. And uh, so let's say we want to emphasize the color of piece here we would select it and then click on there and you know, maybe we would like it to be yes yeah, so, so, something like that okay so um, that's how you target just one word uh, in what is otherwise a heading um, but in response to the formulas uh, question how do we then change the size of that uh, what we'd want to do is actually nip along to here because we don't have any size options here uh, otherwise we could just simply use that after highlighting the word which would be great um, but if we go along to text here we see how we can edit the actual uh, HTML of the body of text so this is the no coding side of it that's the great thing about Elementor we have this no coding side where we can just toggle buttons and, and click away and select things. That's nice and easy. Um, but we do have the option of getting into the code a little bit and that's going to help us with the size element. So um, you'll see here we've got become the and then we've got span style equals color blah 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 blah. Now just to let you know if you wanted to bring some opacity um, variation to here you could get the HTML 
um, equivalent of that and type that in. I don't know if I recall it, maybe. Ah, oh, yeah, cool. Um, so that's that's an opacity value um, just added onto the hex code there. You can Google that. I'll leave a link in the description, actually. Um, so you can actually see that that is now um, a bit transparent, which is kind of nice. Anyway, back to the subject of this video, we want to change the size. Um, so we would actually use uh, the span and style element here. So what we want to do is get rid of, well, no, we'll leave that. For simplicity, we're going to get rid of that right now. Um, going to cut that. And what we want to do is font size. <laughs> I just went blank there. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> font size. Um, uh, what what font size were we? We were 140 right now. So let's do 140 pixels. And that doesn't do anything. If we do 160 pixels. Oh, we're getting it's a bit bigger there. That's fantastic. What? Well, let's just go for the 200. Boosh, look at that, become the piece you want to project. That's really quite cool. Um, what we might want to do, however, though, is if we sort of had a different responsive item um, settings here, so uh, we might set the, the font to be a different size on, let's have a look at this, on a mobile, all right? So that's too big. And what we would want to do there is bring the typography, the size down, in the responsive, uh, in the mobile version, we'd want to bring that down a bit. So let's say we'd, we'd make that 50. So that's a problem, isn't it? Because we've kind of hard coded, um, what was it, 200 pixels into the, into the word piece there. So let's bring that back because what we're going to do, whoops, there we go. Let's go back to our desktop version and see what we can do here. Uh, go back to content and text and uh, what we're going to do is actually give it a percentage value so let's say we want it to be 150 percent of what it is otherwise um well it looks rubbish and that's annoying me so 130 percent okay so so that's a little bit better yay um and then when we go along to the mobile view of this go to mobile and style typography bring it down a bit you see that it's actually working as a percentage um so we're able to then adjust that in a responsive way which you know um <laughs> if it's not responsive it's like you know se selling a non-responsive website is like selling a car without wheels there's no point um so i would say that if you're going to use this method then use a percentage value um, at least then it will remain uh, responsive. Again, for the tablet, let's just quickly bring that size down and you can see that it works. That's great. Whoop, whoop. Um, just to show you how you can get some multiple values here. Um, that might not work. I'm wondering if we, if we chuck another value on that, if it's going to mess it up a little bit. It's not. Let's have a look at what it's doing in the code. Span style, font size 130, and then it's added on. You see we've got the semicolon there, and then color, blah, 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 blah. But we would like to add B3 to bring that transparency in there as well. So there's the solution to that. I hope it's helpful. Um, obviously, we've got a nice funky uh, heading there. It's mobile responsive or device responsive. Um, and we've, able, we've been able there to uh, focus on changing the size and the color um, of uh, just one word uh, using the, the coding side. So it's this text tab here. Okay, um, I hope you found that helpful and uh, go and have a play with that. You can't really break anything. So, you know, just remember always to duplicate your element before you start playing and you should be okay. Um, and uh, within that span value, by the way, you can add lots of other bits of HTML. So, you know, have fun with that and just don't be afraid to play around. Uh, do check the description for um, links to my courses and to my website. Do check me out. Keep in touch. Uh, I'd love it if you join my mailing list um, so that uh, any developments I have, you can be kept up to date if this is of value to you. But do uh, hit the like button and the subscribe and all that kind of stuff because um, I, I really want to be adding some more valuable content to the channel. Okay, thanks so much, guys.